as you are, I'd imagine, otherwise why would you be after clicking on this video, I'm terribly excited about a number of video games that are going to be coming out this very year. Yakuza Like a Dragon, Doom Eternal, Beyond Good and Evil 2, maybe, maybe not, and Yakuza Like a Dragon. But let's not just focus on the big blockbusters, alright? There's a world full of independent developers that are creating these exceptional, beautiful, innovative interactivities. And I think it would be criminal to neglect them in favour of a remake of a game from the 1990s. Now rather than rattle off a load of indie games that you're probably already aware of, 12 Minutes, Sable, Spiritfarer, Carrion, The Artful Escape, Rocky, Rocky, I've got a couple of video games for you that may not have been on your radar. Now if you get to the end of the video and you find out that they actually were, take a sweet from the jar, you knowledgeable person. But enough of all that, here are 10 independent video games across a variety of genres for you to keep an eye on in 2020. Backbone is a 2D detective adventure game set in a dystopic pixelized Vancouver and everyone who lives here is a walking talking animal. That's brilliant. As well as your adventure game based puzzle solving, developer Eggnut has taken inspiration from classic RPGs by including oodles of branching dialogue with NPCs. Say the wrong thing to someone and you may have to reassess your approach in a mission. And it has a jazz soundtrack. Nice. Oh, uh, just one more thing. If you want to check out the Mac wearing fella for yourself, you can download a demo on Steam right now. The final game, that will be available on PC, Xbox, PlayStation and Switch later this year. I did mention you're a raccoon, didn't I? And you smoke fags and you like taking baths, because I feel like that's quite pivotal. Best Friend Forever is Animal Heavy 2, but it appears to have fewer murders and, you know, general nastiness. In the idyllic Rainbow Bay, you're tasked with caring for your dog, you know, feed them, walk them. All the while, you're looking to get yourself a date via the in-game world app Woofer. Yes, every eligible singleton in this town has a dog as well. It looks to be taking inspiration from games like Dream Daddy, both in how it looks and plays. The Tamagotchi aspect is an interesting twist that could see BFF stand out from other dating sims though. You'll be able to see what it's like for yourself this Valentine's Day on PC and switch. Blood Roots isn't quite so sugary. This isometric hyper-violent Samurai Jack looking action game has been influenced by Jackie Chan and his tendency to use the objects around him to his advantage in his movies. So in Blood Roots, a ladder for example can be swung around in Terry Funk fashion in order to down enemies but it can also become a useful traversal tool if you wish to vault yourself to a higher platform. If you're good enough you can apparently clear an entire level in one giant combo as well. I probably never be that good enough. I do love games like Hotline Miami and Ape Out though, so the super pretty one hit kill brutality here, that's right up my street. You'll be able to check this one out in early 2020 on PC, PS4 and on Switch. Buildings Have Feelings 2 looks wonderfully silly. It's a 2D city management sim full of anthropomorphic architecture. That's fucking stupid and I love it. The idea is to keep your buildings alive by giving them a purpose. If they were once a thriving bank that is beginning to falter, you can turn them into a swanky restaurant in order to get punters through the door. The happier the buildings are, the busier they'll be, and the busier they are, well, the happier they'll be. Buildings don't always have to be overhauled though, you know? Something as simple as moving them from one end of the street to the other can see business boom once more. Giving these structures life is something that definitely caught my eye, so I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product from the Belfast based developer. If you're equally intrigued, you'll be able to play this one this summer on PC, PS4, Xbox and on Switch. From the makers of colourful boss rush game Fury comes Haven, a sci-fi RPG love story that can be played either solo or in co-op. Unlike most games that feature relationships of some kind, the one characters you and Kay are in is already established by the time you start the game. They obviously love each other, but there are squabbles over what they'll cook for dinner or tiffs over who was meant to make sure the electricity was sorted, that type of thing. From what developer the game makers have shown, this 
This feels real. There is a world outside there to be explored, a very colourful world where you can collect resources and battle some big old beasties. Haven's a big departure for this studio and one I'm buzzing to see for myself when it comes to PC, Xbox, PlayStation and Switch later this year. Nuts doesn't see you trying to revive the lad mag culture, instead Nuts is a surveillance puzzle game that places you in the heart of Melmoth Forest. The squirrels within are acting a bit strange, so it's up to you to find out what exactly these little bastards are up to. Equipped with plenty of video equipment, you must position cameras in optimal positions during the day in order to capture the nighttime actions of the little rodents. The striking art style along with the peculiar concept makes this one of the more unique games on this list. Platforms and release date are yet to be nailed down, but if we will it into existence, hopefully this will see the light of day this calendar year. Proteus is how you remember Doom looking in 1993. This vicious first person shooter is basically the game equivalent of the word fuck. Just look at it. Guns, explosions, gore, probably a very metal soundtrack. There's a cross-platform level editor in the game too, which means you'll be able to embody a demonic Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen and create your own maps for others to play. Designer Jason Mejica recently said they were aiming to get the game out on early access in February, with a full release to follow on PC as well as Xbox, PlayStation and on Switch. Say no more, no, say no more is a quirky one button game where the objective is to simply say no. You start off as an intern in an office filled with dickheads that are using you as a doormat, but after finding a self help tape you gain the ability to say no to people. As the website outlines you can say no in a heated way, a cold way, a lazy way and a wacky way. I'm not sure what that sounds like but no? Maybe? Despite Gary Lightbody's desire for us to just say that Y word, saying no can be cathartic. Which is why this game really appeals. You'll be able to say that two letter word to your heart's content later this year on PC, iOS and on Switch. Tony Slopes is the only racing game to feature on this list because, well, just look at us. Downhill racing on ludicrous vehicles like whales, shopping carts, cellos, crocodiles, bathtubs, desk chairs. It has a real absurd party game feel. And as long as they can nail the gameplay past the initial lolling, this could be terrific. The developer has said they're looking at consoles, but right now Tony Slopes is just confirmed to be coming to PC via early access in early 2020. 20. On its surface, Welcome to Elk looks like a joyous, chirpy little cartoon, but there is a lot of darkness within too. You play as Frigg, a young carpenter that's landed on this island of impossibly happy characters, many however with heartbreaking stories to tell. Those stories are based on truth too. Throughout, you'll see real life interviews with people that were told about these melancholic moments that are depicted in game. What's so interesting about Welcome to Elk is that's married to the kooky WarioWare-esque minigames and whimsical art style. This is definitely one to watch for 2020. Expected to launch on PC sometime this year. Just 10 delights from indie game developers that we can look forward to playing. To be honest, I could go on for another 10 or 20 or whatever because there's just some really cool things floating about out there in that particular space. However, if I missed out on the game that you are looking forward to, whatever it may be, please do let me know in the comments below. Let's share, all right? I gave you 10. If you give me one, we'll call it quits. It's fine. Either way, we can all agree that 2020 is going to be good for us the game playing public. If you like this video, please like this video, as in click the thumbs thing, please. Also, there's two other videos over there or over there, I can't remember. You can watch them as well if you like, but the important thing is to subscribe, press my face, and then hit the button so you'll be notified of future videos and live streams and uploads. Thank you very much for watching, you're a star.